Hello. Yeah, in this video, we are going to just um, do the basics of fitting a Cox proportional hazard regression model. Uh, first, let's read in the data set. Uh, take a look at the data. Um, so here, we're going to model a follow-up as the survival time uh, and uh, CHD fate as the censoring variable. And we want to look at the effect of DVP on follow-up time. Okay. Uh, first, uh, um, we'll categorize the continuous DVP variable into several groups. Uh, so basically, uh, cut them uh, as the intervals that below 60, uh, between 61 and 70, uh, 70, 180, 81, 90, 91, 100, 101, and 110, uh, or, or beyond 110. Okay, so. Uh, so you can see there's uh, eight uh, categories, um, and um, we can load the library survival and then do a couple of Meyer uh, curve. Uh, here we Divide the follow-up by 365 uh, because the unit of follow-up is in days. Now we convert it to years. Okay. Uh, so you can see um, the CHD raised by DBP. Uh, this is uh, you can see the higher um, of the DBP at uh, the baseline uh, will have a lower survival rate. Uh, so this is almost like a dose response relationship. Uh, this indicates uh, there might be a strong relationship between uh, DBP and the CHD risk. And now we can just fit a uh, Cox regression model with DBP only. Uh, first, we just uh, kind of center DBP around 60. Uh, so DBP 60 equals to DBP minus 60. Um, the syntax for fitting a Cox model is Cox pH, and the formula is very similar to the formula used in the couple Meyer curve. Uh, so here we have serve follow-up divided by 365, CHD fate, um, and regressed on DPP60 data equal to data. And now um, we have the um, summary of the um, Cox model, uh, you can see it's quite informative. It tells us the sample size, the number of events, uh, and then uh, this coefficient is the beta for DBP60. Uh, exponential coefficient is uh, the uh, hazard ratio. Um, and uh, SE of coefficient is the standard error. And then Z is the uh, Z statistic. and that probability greater than or equal to absolute of z is the p-value. So you can see the p-value is very small, indicating a highly statistically significant effect of DPP-60 on survival time. Okay. And next one is actually uh, calculated the um, hazard ratio or the inverse hazard ratio. Uh, and the lower and upper bound of the 95% confidence interval for the hazard ratio. Uh, and the concordance equal to 0 0.616, uh, S equal to 0 0.008. So it's a concordance index that's reflecting um, kind of how, whether you can order the uh, survival time as by the model uh, correctly. Uh, so 0 0.5 is kind of, uh, you know, random choices. Uh, so you want this concordance value to be high. Um, so here is a 0 0.616. So it's uh, not, it is okay, but not um, very good. Okay. So a lot uh, like quality ratio test, wall test, and uh, score test. Uh, these are the three tests uh, for testing the global hypothesis that uh, all beta equal to zero. So this is very similar to general linear model um, in which we have this kind of, uh, what's it called, omnibus test, okay? So this answers the question whether it's 
at, uh, whether it's a worthwhile to fit the model at all, right? Uh, so if, uh, from all these three uh, tests, we know um, the p-value is rather small. So uh, this is uh, indicating uh, it worthwhile to fit this model. Okay. So next step, we're just going to do a uh, multiple Cox regression model with the DPP and uh, some other covariates. Uh, you can see now uh, Cox model 2, uh, the, fun the, uh, the, the formula is now serve follow up divided by 365 CHD fade and regress on DPP 60. Uh, now, sex is uh, we treat as a factor, so a factor six, uh, sex and SCL age and the BMI data equal to data. And here are the um, outputs. Uh, you can see um, all, all of these variables are highly significant. Uh, and then you can uh, see uh, the uh, eight uh, hazard ratios for each independent variables um, and make uh, the right uh, interpretation here. Uh, for example, the uh, hazard ratio for DBP60 is 1.0187. Uh, so this is the greater than one. So it means uh, it's a risk factor. Uh, gender, uh, this sex of two, I think that's female. So female has a uh, uh, smaller risk uh, than males uh, in terms of the CHD risk. Uh, and similarly, you can interpret the SCL and age and BMI uh, in the right direction. So now when we add in more um, variables, uh, the concordance uh, improved, and uh, now it's 0 0.711, so better than, uh, you know, the covariate as uh, a Cox model with only the DVP uh, predictor. Okay, uh, and the, so this is the part one of the Cox model. In part two, we're going to learn more uh, detailed uh, uh, Details about Cox models, such as uh, uh, different kind of residuals, how to uh, check the proportional hazard assumptions, things like that. Okay, thank you.